Salted, get a layer of ice down, yellowtail pack ice around it, more ice on the top, salt it, and then put the ocean water. I've already gilled and gutted them um, on the water. Summit gas, where I like to get my ice. I got three, three 25 pound bags. I might only need two. But also what I like to do to get that layer completely on the bottom and then have the fish sitting upright like so. So that's bag number two bag number or bag number one. Bag number two. Break it up. Yeah, see, I only need maybe just over two bags. This point, of it, cover the. I guess we can just pretty much use all the bags. Okay, it's completely covered now. I'm gonna go ahead and salt some. Bam, there it is. Got my high grade iodized, just iodized salt. I'm gonna put a layer on top of the ice. Drop the temperature down even cooler. And I have my Yeti cooler here that I filled up at the launch with some ocean water. I'm gonna go ahead. Dump that in there. I guess I'm gonna use it all. Nice. We'll pack it in. Make sure that none of the yellow tails are exposed. Kind of mix the salt a little bit so it's not. I don't get any like blocks of ice. Make sure that it's loosely packed on the tight. Ooh, that's cool. That's gonna get nice and firm now. Okay. I'm gonna let that sit overnight. I got a plug from this other cooler that I put in it. We'll play in tomorrow. Successful day today. Here in the kitchen, I got my knife. I'm gonna get it, I've soaked the block here, sharpening stone, and I'm gonna run it at an angle, 25 degree angle or so, pull it back towards me through the length of the leg, get it when I, my knife sharpened up before I fillet this yellow tail here. Did 10 passes each side. The cooler that I prepped yesterday, the saltwater brine. 
ocean water brine yellow tailor upright vertical in it gets them nice and firm they've been but gutted and gilled get some meat nice and firm when i go to fillet it. i'm going to do the smaller one i'm going to weigh it first see what the smaller ones have not bad just over 24 pounds gilled and gutted you know it's probably 25 26 that's what i thought around 25 on the water get my station set up with the sword knife in my bag i'll put the scraps in this one and then the fillets in that one it's a little crooked but i'll get a tape shot we'll stay 39 39 inches to the inside of the fork all right i'm gonna get a nice two nice fillets off either side of this start off making the cut for the collars and then work it down the top of the spine or from the back end along the top and then along the bottom and then take off the whole side then i'll have the belly meat on the bottom the bottom tail meat and then the upper loin the top loin and we're gonna do it like so there's the cut right here i like to get tight to the fin come down that's gonna be your collar piece break the head off after then i'm gonna come down here make a cut at the base of the tail Take my sword knife and work it flat along the spine all the way up the back. It's so nice to have the fish so cold and firm. Go back through it along the same cut that I made all the way down the spine. You hear that? Now I'm gonna do the bottom side. Same thing, come parallel down the bottom. Now, should be able to just work it off. All the way down the bone, belly meat, beautiful yellowtail fillet. Some of these premium cuts right here, I'm gonna keep for myself. Go ahead and do the other side. Cut the collar. The angle to the head. I like to leave the meat for the legs, the loins. Come along the top. Start from the tail. All the way along the spine. Go again. Flat. Cut the top, bust it free. What a beautiful fish. Slice along the ribs. The rib stays with the carcass. And the meat, I can work off of it. I did the last one. This is so firm, I can fold it back like this. There's filet number two. Here's the belly. Belly strip the smoker can bust the head off collar carcass i'll fold up maybe i'll make a stock with it clean up the collars later put this in a bag on its own mix up my scrap bag take these scraps i'll put the head in the same ziploc baggie as the collar Get the carcass here taken care of. All that marrow. That good stuff. Now I'm gonna take my lay here. And as you can see, that's where I lost the meat right here. First, I'm gonna slice around the bone right here, down through the skin. Got that side. Now do it this side. Scrap bag. Then I'm gonna take my knife parallel here to the table, cut down and then over, hold the skin, get it in between, put your hand here behind it, cut around the gaff shot. There's the first piece, cut the dark meat off. And there is just a absolutely beautiful yellowtail fillet. I even detail it and get this dark meat out. There it is, put this in the finished product bag. Just gonna detail it out like that, but I can take this first, cut out this dark meat like so, and the whole strip that goes down the side like this. Gotta 
watch out for the raccoon tonight that's been a little active in the area. Cut off this whatever's left over, the lining, stomach lining. This is the lower loin now. See from the, some of the fat from the belly. Nice fat winter yellowtail. All right, I'm gonna do this other half, time lapse. I don't know what happened, my old GoPro overheated. Save some time, I'm gonna do time lapse, check it out. these beauty cuts right here off the yellowtail beautiful La Jolla yellowtail I'm gonna vacuum to vacuum bag them up show you my process right here so what I like to do is pat them off with the towel first take my food saver bag vacuum bagger I keep with the simple model you can check out the link in the description for the Amazon link wow look at that beautiful Use this for some sushi cuts right here for me. Woo. Pure beauty, look at that. Belly piece, belly filet. Woo. Could get this package up. My mouth is watering. Next level beauty. Just pure beauty, look at that. some smoked yellow tail going. I got some of my tail fillets, some of my scrap pieces, belly and tail, and then those collars that I just cut out the pieces from the collars. I'm gonna go ahead and get those chopped up into pieces. I like them to have them into strips, maybe two inches, three inches long, and a quarter inch by a quarter inch or so, half inch by half inch by three inches long, get that maximum surface area. And then the brine, I'm gonna put it in here with the brine. I'm gonna do some soy sauce. I got less sodium and the regular stuff here. Cup of soy sauce. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of chili garlic and another three or four tablespoons, the rest of this honey here. We're doing the brine here. Before we chop up the pieces, I'm gonna do the brine, liquid portion of the brine. So here I got my soy sauce. Here's a half cup. Oh, this is the regular, I wanted the less sodium. We'll do a half cup of the less sodium, a half cup of the regular. One cup of soy sauce. We're going with the honey. A couple tablespoons of honey. And then the bomb stuff right here. Jack's chili garlic. See what it's got just a Facebook. Jack's chili garlic oil and their phone number right there. You can hit them up, 619-279-8027. Stay tuned for updates. They're supposed to be getting their own restaurant started, packaging up these more, but until then, I got this stuff hooked up with a personal connection. Thank you, Chris. This is their extra spicy. So I'm gonna do one, two, three tablespoons. This stuff is the bomb and mix that around. Okay, next up now let's get the pieces inside. It's gonna leave this one big solid. Smaller pieces. All right, let's get the rest of them. Put it in the fridge for a couple hours and then smoke it later today.
You smoked yellowtail, the dream. Here we go. They got the yellowtail, that La Jolla yellowtail in that brine. Chili garlic, soy sauce, and honey. Now I'm going to put it on the rack in front of the fan for the pellicle skin. Pellicle skin helps it absorb that smoke flavor from the Traeger. Creates it from the airflow on the exterior. We'll get it set up on this rack. Get the airflow going. There they are. Yellowtail. We are going to go ahead. Get the fan going. Blowing on it. Smoked yellowtail. Winter time. Got that home guard. It's been at least a half not half hour now. Probably closer to an hour in front of the fan. It's getting this tacky pellicle skin on this side. I'm going to flip it over. all good now nice pellicle skin tacky skin to absorb the smoke flavor triggers at 190 that's good i'll we'll set it at 180. hey let that go for about 45 minutes Flip them. There it is. All done. We're letting it shut down. It's going a little haywire at the end. We'll go ahead and pull the pieces. Beautiful smoked California yellowtail with Traeger. There we go. Smoked La Jolla yellowtail on the Traeger. That's the bomb. <laughs> Winter Home Guard Yellowtail. Pure beauty. Now they've got the Yellowtail all smoked up on the Traeger. Cooled off. I'm going to put it into vacuum bags that I made. Give it away to some of my friends. I got my food saver bag there. Little stick piece. Nuggets for people. Now you know I'm gonna hook them up with a 10 piece. This is for that Bertolino, Kristen, the Bertolinos that own the grocery outlet over by San Diego State, kind of off of 54th Street. Check them out. I'm gonna go into their store. Say what's up. There it is, all packaged. Get a vacuum bag. Maybe I'll hook Joey up. At Squid Co. if I go by with this other package. Okay, number four right here bagged up. For the first fourth person giveaway and then I'll have a bag for myself and my dad. Put it in the Ziploc baggie, the rest for us. Final result, final product right there. Smoked yellowtail, La Jolla yellowtail too, it's even better. Use that in spring rolls, salads, with your eggs. I like with my eggs a lot, really good. Avocado, fish dip.